Hey guys, I'm gonna cover the grip for you. Uh, so what's gonna help you guys um, is gonna be the continental grip, and this is gonna be universal. It's gonna help for forehand and also backhand shots. So I'm gonna show you guys the continental here. What you're gonna do is act like you're shaking someone's hand, right? And then you're just gonna place it right on the paddle, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys here just like this. See, it's kind of like a V. I'm gonna do this, act like I'm shaking the handle. All right, and I'm gonna show you guys from the side here, okay? So this is the continental grip as you can see, and that's gonna help not only for forehand, but also backhand, so I'm not switching up my grips all over the place, right? If I go something like what's called the semi-western, right, this is really good for forehand, but it's a little hard on my backhand. So I wanna make sure, once again, my continental grip, I'm gonna shake someone's hand, I'm gonna place it right here, just like so, right? And that's gonna be your continental grip. We're gonna talk about serving here. So when you serve, you're gonna be on the right hand side and make sure you're behind this baseline, okay? My foot can't be on this baseline here, I have to be behind. So when we're serving, we're gonna be on the right hand side. You're gonna say the score, your score, then the opponent's score. And then when I serve, I gotta make sure my paddle is below my waist, okay? So if I'm here, right, I gotta make sure it's below the waist there. Now, when I serve, I gotta go cross court now the one thing, all the lines count, that's okay, except for the kitchen line there. If it bounces and hits that kitchen line, then that's a fault, and I give my serve to the other team, okay? So make sure that crosses that kitchen line and it's in, in their corner, okay? Now, new rule here is called the let. If I serve and hits the top of the net and it clears that kitchen line, you have to play it. So that's a new rule that they just initiated. So remember, if it hits that net, we gotta play that out. Okay, so I'm gonna do a serve right here. I'm gonna make sure I'm behind this line. My paddle's gonna be below my waist. I can't smash it like tennis, okay? So I'm gonna serve right here, below the waist, right? Nice and easy there, right? Cross the kitchen line and we're good to go. Another thing with the serve too, which is new, is gonna be the drop serve. So, which is pretty fun serve to do. So I gotta make sure I'm here. I can't throw the ball down, I can't do this. I can just drop and once I drop, I can do whatever I like. So if I'm gonna drop here, right? I'm, and I can hit, come through. I didn't throw the ball down. Uh, once I drop it, I can do whatever. But make sure when we're serving, a lot. what I see with a lot of people is we rotate around and not through. So make sure we're hitting through that ball first, then you can rotate after. Another fun, I'm gonna show you guys another fun one I like to do, it's called the backhand drop. It's pretty cool right here. I'm gonna drop here and I'm gonna hit right there. Okay, that's a really fun one to pull off a little bit, kind of mess with, with your opponents. Uh, you can try that on your own. There you go, that's a serve. So here we're gonna talk about ground strokes. Uh, one thing, especially with a lot of beginners, is they like to move first, then hit. So make sure if you're gonna do a ground stroke first, just make sure you hit and then move. Pretty simple, what's gonna be here is we're gonna go into a V. We're gonna go back here. Uh, make sure we're not too wide open, right? That's a Y, we wanna make sure we're a V here. And we're nice and compact, not a big old wind up and hit, it's just a nice V and we're hitting through, right? Remember, execute your shot first, then move. So we're gonna go into a V and hit and stay through the ball, okay? So uh, my partner here, he's gonna do a ground stroke here. So you're gonna try, uh, just bounce a ball, make sure we're in a V and hit through the ball, okay? Yeah. Well, perfect. So you notice there, he was in a little bit of a Y. So now shorten that angle and go a little bit more close. With your, with your path. Amazing. Go over backhand here, it's kind of the same thing with the, our forehand strokes. So you're gonna be in a V, just like this, and we're gonna be nice and compact through. Now, with the backhand, a lot of people get a little too aggressive and they see how where my head went, where my body. Make sure, like I said, we hit first and move, but you're not rotating before the ball. Make sure we hit and stay through, right? The biggest thing is your head. Don't let your head uh, cruise out, right? Keep that locked in, hit first and then move, okay? Like I said, the V shape here, Right, nice and locked and we're hitting through, okay? So my partner here, we're gonna go through this a little bit. Yeah, you can you can take that, right? And then drop it and then remember, we're nice and through, watch the ball. Okay, head down, nice V shape. There you go, that was pretty good.
Hey, so we're gonna talk about the overhand volley here. What I see a lot with people is they do this big old wind up and hit, but with pickleball, we wanna play the probability here and keep it in, so it's more of a punch, okay? We don't wanna wind up and then hit. It's just more of a nice punch and stay through the ball. So I'm gonna be with my partner here. We're hitting, we're gonna be deking, and if they leave it up a little bit, right? I don't wanna go here and swing, right? That's gonna be hard for me to do. So we're gonna dink, I'm gonna just nice punch, right? Nice little punch there, okay? Now, one thing to add to, notice how I didn't fall into the kitchen here. I stayed behind the line, okay? So make sure when we're doing this, right, it's just a nice punch through and I'm not winding up and, and getting all these crazy angles in there, okay? So make sure we hit and stay concise through the ball and we wanna play that probability. All right, here in this lesson, we're gonna be dinking it up. We're gonna show you guys what the dink is and how, how we do it. Um, we Congratulations, we got to the kitchen line. And now what do I do, right? The ball is nice and low, we're gonna dink. And what this is gonna do is a nice neutral shot that they can't rip that's above the net. So one, a nice dink is gonna create an obstacle for the other team uh, that they can't hit it hard and they gotta dink it back. So it's a neutralized shot that's gonna be hard for your opponent to attack. Um, and we just neutralize uh, the point as we move up. So remember the dink is gonna be, help us get to the line and don't force anything. So we're gonna be dinking it up here in this next video and show you guys what it is um, and how to do it, okay? Okay, so we got to the kitchen line here and we're gonna be going over dinks and make sure it lands in the kitchen. That's the whole goal here is to keep it in the kitchen. So nice and soft, you can't rip it over the net there, okay? Nice dinks, right? right in the kitchen, right over the net. Now, if we get into the situation, what we can do here is I can move them around a little bit, right? I can move them there, right? See, that's a hard shot. So if we get into a little dink battle there, it's okay to move your opponent around. So when we get to that kitchen line and there's no aggressive shot that we can do, uh, when in doubt, dink it up, all right? Okay, so some last beginner tips for you guys is one, what we're trying to do is push him back. And remember why we're trying to push him back is so that we can get to the kitchen line. All the points are gonna be made at the kitchen line. So remember, we are trying to get there as soon as possible. Now two, uh, we are trying to not over hit and try to keep the ball in play. So we're trying to limit our unforced errors uh, and keeping the ball in play and playing the probability. Um, I'd say three is just keep the ball in the middle when we're receiving team, keep it deep so then that they can communicate. So.